This is Jason Warbucks. This is Lenny. This is Shenny. This is your boy Steven, and you're now tuned into the Crystal Cast. What's going on, peeps? This is episode 13 of the Perspic Cacks. We are back again with another episode. Man, I'm here with my peeps, my co-hosts, my brothers, my sisters. Yo, Lenise, what's going on this week? I am good. I'm feeling energized. Yeah, man, I'm happy to be here. Is it my turn now? Because I'm <laughs> feeling great. <laughs> just have to say, today's just been a good day energy everything everything right is happening today so you know what i really don't need to complain nor would i complain anyway so hey. i'm just living life ah, i like that <laughs> who's that oh you wait on me oh, <laughs> hi um i can't complain either do y'all feel how like the weather's been uh, uh, like, the ups and downs well. yeah yeah the climate change like <laughs> Wow, where am I? Am I one day it's snowing and feeling like my toes about to fall off, and next day I'm pulling out some shorts. <laughs> or if the I was fact crazy, that uh-huh. we have all four seasons in all four seasons. Oh, but, but we have that like in spring <laughs> and summer. Like springtime, you get all four seasons bag up into one. It's it's. Mm, mm, mm. Je ne sais pas. Ah, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Parlez-vous le français? Uh, it's in the oh. Oh, okay. Ah. okay. <laughs> you know enough to say that you don't know how to say nothing else. And that yeah. is a useful skill. Exactly. <laughs> I was only in French immersion since like kindergarten to grade 12. So, I mean, I should know how to speak it. Did I continue it? Je ne sais pas. <laughs> All right. Got it. <laughs> okay then. Well. Um, I want to ask y'all something. Mm-hmm. Mm. I want to ask y'all something. I'm going to ask you something back that's going to touch your childhood, per se. Oh, no. Okay, oh. go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Shanice is not that bad. Stop it. Okay. Jeez. You always make me be the bad guy in this team. I don't know. I um, know. Do y'all remember video games? What do you mean? Do y'all remember because... <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm seeing everyone and their mama break their neck for PS5s. I'm seeing people post PS5s like it's their newborn kid. Okay. Mm. And I'm like, Facts. I'm like seeing PS5s. I'm not seeing y'all post your bank statements or anything. So uh-huh. I'm going to call y'all because I don't have a PS5. I'm going to be smart wait till January. But Facts. what I say is, do y'all remember back in the day when it was like, when either you had it or your cousin had it and they had like a Super Nintendo or they had a uh-huh. Genesis uh, and Dreamcast. Like, Dreamcast. No, no, no. Oh. We're gonna start back. We're gonna start back at the beginning. I'm not oh, even going oh. as far back as I said yes. Or okay. NES. <laughs> but do y'all remember back in the day where it felt good you went to your cousin's house and they had Mario? Or even if you had the Game Boy that you had to hold up to the light? <laughs> just to see it. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me I'll remember those. Come on. Tell oh, me I'll remember those. Of course. Oh, man. You're talking about had I to have one of those. my little my little Game Boy Advance. Okay, okay, but do y'all remember Sega? Because Sega, I'd be with Sonic and Tails, and I'd be flying in the air like, Tails, stop dying. Tails, stop dying. Y- y'all don't remember Sega, Sonic? Under- what? Who no, could forget is- that? You guys, oh, you guys are lucky. Like, I never got bought that stuff. What? <laughs> what? Facts. I got oh. heavy down still. What? what? And I'm an only what? child. Like, who are they buying it for? Just me? Facts. No. <laughs> Incorrect. Time, 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 time. You never had a Game Boy. Okay, this is a funny story. I had a Game Boy Advance. Okay. okay. You said something. They didn't buy it for me. Okay. Uh, you know, who did you take it from? You know, like, Yo. <laughs> back okay. in the... Yo. You know? <laughs> Left her. <laughs> you push your teeth in from. Left you her. know, Alrighty like, then. <laughs> back in the day, right? When, like, your, like, uncles and aunts and stuff used to have those big bashments, like... Mm-hmm. Like, everybody that they knew from back home would come over, and they had these, like, big things, lots of food, mm-hmm. loud music, mm-hmm, kids, like, mm-hmm. sleeping on the couch or sleeping upstairs in the bases, bumping yep. through your head top. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so never forget that. they had one of those, and maybe, like, two weeks later, I went over to yeah. their house, and there's this Game Boy Advance. I'm like... <laughs> Who left this behind? And has anyone been looking for it? Like, have you guys got uh, any calls or something? No? So essentially, I was right. Your teeth fit. Bet. 
Okay. Wow, mm. Denise. Denise, I have to look at you at you under a different light and not the light setting you have for your room. What am yeah. I supposed? What am I supposed to do? Put up not, wanted posters? Found, no, 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 in fact, found, nah, I would have done the same. Nah, nah, I would have <laughs> done the same straight. I, I appreciate the night of. I appreciate the rundown still because you know she could have just said I teased this straight up, but like you know she could have like, just been you guys. Me. I didn't need you guys thinking I like ran up on something like yo run me the Game Boy run me that Game Boy like that's that wasn't me. <laughs> that kind of would have been me though. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been that would have been, been a run me the Game. No, like, for your cousins for it. But you know, it was before the days of email and social media where I could be like, "Yo, anybody from the party lose a game?" Like, well, I didn't really, know these kids. Would you want to? Would you? <laughs> but no. nah, man. But when it came to your house, yo, it looks like my Game Boy. No, it's not. No, That's the thing. The party wasn't me. even at my house, though. Like, it wasn't even my house, so I could oh, say better. like, "Oh, I know who the guests were." Like, I was better. a guest myself. Even better. Even better. This is nah, my. Man. This is my confession. My to me. This is my confession for the day. My friend lent me the Game Boy. My friend lent it to me. I, I don't know. Just because your name's on the back of it doesn't mean nothing. My friend's name, my friend's in Troy, too. And my cousin's going to kill me when he watches this later. <laughs> Out in the sea. Oh, I remember Game Boy so much. Like, when I was younger, I went to the summer camp. And my brother just recently got a Game Boy. I didn't get a Game Boy, so he's going to kill me for this one. But, you know, mm-hmm. it was out of spite that I brought the Game Boy to summer camp, like their church camp. Uh, and I was lending out the Game Boy for snacks, having my little side hustle. What? And then, yeah, man. I'm people done. would come play <laughs> Pokemon, and I would get a snack, and they'd have it for the duration of the time that we were on break. Sick. You're you sick. To- no. I had to. I had to. You know, ratings, ratings. entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. But you know, when those summer camps, they take you on the bus. Yeah. So we went on the bus, and I had lent it out at that time because I wanted a full lunchable pack. So it just so happens that the person I lent it to decided to lose it, lose it, as in leave it on the bus. So all oh, now my brother's been asking me where this Game Boy go, and I always tell him that I never took it. But you know. <laughs> He don't really need to know. Technically, I didn't take it. I borrowed it and somebody else left it behind to bless somebody else. So I do remember video games all too well. Oh, Yo, wow. Steven, can yeah. you kind of cut this part out so she doesn't go missing after her brother goes missing? I was about to say, he's going to follow the podcast. Does he listen to the podcast? Like, yeah, it's more my mom, you know what you say? My mom's going to be like, so that's what happened? I beat him for no reason? Uh, sorry. <laughs> One of those. Yo, that's the thing. Because when it's yours and you don't take care of it, mm-hmm. like I know that whoever, whatever kid is out there that lost the Game Boy Advance that I was blessed with, <laughs> I know their parents were probably mad at them like, I told you not to take it to the party anyway. You're too rude to these things. I'm, no, I'm not yeah, calling them. Ass. I'm yep. not calling them. So, you yep. know, um, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. <sighs> so yeah. I kind of have a next question. Sorry, this is you. Which one? Did anyone... So this is to Lenise and Shanice. <laughs> it rhymed. Did anyone... If you, for people who play video games... Did like your cousins or your like any guy friends look at you differently for playing games? Like they're like, oh, girls don't play video games. Like oh. they don't do all that stuff. Did they ever look at you like, oh, you should be playing with your Barbies? You shouldn't. You don't know video games. Shani, mm-hmm. you want to go first? No, I'll let you take the lead. Oh. Um, oh. oh. I'm trying to think. <laughs> like I wasn't like super super into gaming, but yeah, I like even when I finally convinced them to let me get a ps2 shout out ps2 <laughs> um <laughs> people were always like oh what are, like what are you playing on it or like oh i played this game but you're probably not good at it because you're a girl like listen if i wanted to be good at it and practice it i would but i also spend my time on other things so i played like guitar hero and stuff like that because that's oh, yeah. what i was into but i wasn't good at like <laughs> shenny is playing air guitar um shenny look like she having a stroke <laughs> Stop. Bullied. Don't oh, kill me. Man. But yeah, I wasn't into like a lot of the like adventure games and stuff like that. So I didn't I didn't get too compared. Okay, for myself, it was more so like my brother's friends would come and they'd be like, You can't play video games. And I'd be like, I can play video games. And I would be there and I'd be playing like super was it no no no, not Super Smash Bros. That's later on, but oh, Mario man. Kart. You mm. couldn't touch me on the Mario Kart. And you know the okay. star level yeah. with the rainbows? Tanks? Yeah. I'd be like, 
Ooh, sh- ooh, who's throws red shell. Who's the character? Yeah. Come who's on now. Nah. Well, you Come know what? No, man. No, man, she told. was told. Yep, see, Carla, told. I knew she was told. I knew. Told us my dude, okay? I, I was like, I'll, I'll be out there. But it's funny that you say that because... When, you, when you're a female, you're not supposed to be playing video games. You see how, like, the reference you used were Barbies? Mm. I had a whole stack of those. I'm not going to lie. Those were my toys. But it's funny that when females are playing video games, it shouldn't be something that we should be doing. But it's okay for the boys to play all day, but then the girls get in trouble for playing all day. <laughs> and then on top of that, other guy friends would be like, or even girlfriends as a child, you shouldn't be playing that. You shouldn't be doing that. Says who? Mm-hmm. I want to play too, okay? And I don't just want to play Sims where I have a, a virtual reality and I can live out a life of taking care of myself. I want to play the, the, the raunchy games too or, or the ones with the shooting. Mm-mm. Yeah, man. Mm-mm. Not them games, but you know, the shooting yeah. games yeah, right. and the ones where- <laughs> You said it, not us. Yeah. I know. You I know. Out you, your mouth, buddy. Y'all know what I mean, okay? Hello. Mother <laughs> Shani. <laughs> okay. I want to play the fun games too. And not have to deal with everybody's noise in my ears. Like, you shouldn't be playing that. Yeah. How come you're not playing Sims? Leave me alone. Can I just play Sims? <laughs> yeah. Talking yes. About? I, yeah. If anything, I don't think that would be the game that they would be playing still. Like, so, yeah. bro, they, they're even bringing it back. The house, like, family. You, know? you see, but you see, even even in that, that that's why they wanted the females to be playing it. Because you're building a house and family. Fiwa, I want That's to shoot one gun. Sick. Pew pew. These double standards that we have to live by are just too real. It's wild. Pew pew. So, if you guys were wondering, our topic this week is on gender roles and double standards. Pew mm-hmm. pew. What a natural segue. Right. Indeed. See like how we just flowed and transitioned? <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that kind of takes us to like, since we're talking about Do You Remember and old video games, did you see double standards anywhere else in maybe your childhood or seeing some of your friends or cousins get raised? Uh, yeah. I'll start on that one because... Growing up, Jamaican household, they never wanted the girl to be roughhouse, even though, like, my cousins were tough and everything. They didn't want them to be the whole, like, you can you can mow the lawn, you can clean up the garden, you can clean the roof. They always wanted you inside sewing or doing hair. They didn't want you to kind of be like, the boys out there are supposed to be out there are supposed to be rough. You're not supposed to play with the boys because if they lick you, they lick hot. <laughs> so they don't want they didn't want you to go out there and play with them and be rough. But so, but as times kind of goes different now, girls can always take on the guys roles. But even still, in this day, in some households, they don't the old the old head households let's call it. They're yeah. just like you shouldn't have to go do that role. The man should be the provider. Exactly. Mm. Mm. I wouldn't say. Um... It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a bad thing, but you like I was seeing it growing up with my parents. Like you can see, like obviously your dad would be doing more of the things, like exactly what Worlds is saying that females shouldn't be do- shouldn't be doing on the outside, like paying the bills, like uh, going out getting the girls, you know, making sure like everything's good, making mm-hmm. sure the house is proper, making sure that. So like I'd say that that from my childhood kind of like resonated because it wasn't really. I guess you could say it was a double standard because right now anyone could be doing that in, mm-hmm. in either. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what I'd say for my childhood. Shani, how about you? I have a different spin on it. I agree there was definitely a double standard, but more so upon how I was raised. I have, well, I have three brothers and five sisters. So, I'm the oldest out of everybody and how it was raised for myself is I had to learn how to do like cook, clean, do the laundry first. My mom didn't accept my brothers, like they learned it as well, but there was felt like more pressure on me to do it. I learned how to do all that. And then let's just say I fell short. This is where I I saw a difference. If I fell short, 
my mom seems to be harder on me. Like, you need to know how to do these things. How come you're burning rice? Like, why is this not done properly? How do you mess up Mr. Noodles? I was seven, okay? I didn't know. <laughs> you're like, I can't read the package. I'm, I'm sure learning. You gotta be able to read that stuff. But. <laughs> but this is like difference. When my brother messed up cooking rice or noodles or something, it was, it's okay. You're gonna get it. You're, you're gonna get there. And I find that it's not only in my household that this happened. Like I have this discussion with a lot of other people as well. And it seems that mothers are generally a lot harder on their daughters than they are with their sons. Their sons get that like that petting and the you're going to do it next time and you're going to get this and like more encouragement. And then the daughters are like, you need to get this. Because if you don't get this, no man's going to want you. And this and this and that. I'm not saying my mom said that, but I'm just saying like, that's the kind of, um, I guess, way it's perceived. And then when you grow up, you're like, oh, I have to know how to do this because if I don't, no man's going to want me. Whereas the men can't do it them themselves. Yeah. And like, that's the big prize that you're supposed to be working so hard for. Really? Please explain. <laughs> yeah. Please I didn't explain. sign up for this. But, but you're you're right. It is like a very common narrative. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about that. Even, I think this came up on Twitter like last week. They were saying the same things, how um, it's so different the way that like, um, I think a lot of people are talking about like immigrant moms treat their like daughters versus their sons. And yeah, it's mm-hmm. exactly what you were talking about, Shani. I feel like it's really interesting how like Warbucks and Steven were talking about kind of like the different jobs and like the outside stuff in the house. It's super interesting because like for people who grow up in single parent households, right? Like you see one parent who's doing all of it. It's not like mm-hmm. the whole, this is the male mm-hmm. parent's job, this is sure. the female parent's job. So even like for me, like I grow up, you know, mowing the lawn, shoveling the snow, putting together the ikea furniture etc so i feel like i'm a much more like (laughs) warbucks is like yikes ikea um yeah so i feel like in in those senses i'm like a little bit more well-rounded or even more so on the tomboy side like i don't cook that often in my house but if there's something heavy that needs to be like moved from the van to like upstairs i'm like oh yeah no problem i got it lift with the legs you know what i mean <laughs> so it's very <laughs> you definitely hit it right there uh with, the, with the legs with the well-rounded stuff <laughs> but the tomboy is, is more well-rounded yeah, that's, like, fair. Mm, that's yeah. fair that's fair to call it yeah so it yeah it really depends like there are patterns but it's uh yeah it's definitely different in everybody's house or oh one thing i i remember too mm-hmm. uh fashion wise with with a lot of fathers it's like, don't put my son in pink. My son ain't no girl. Mm. Um, and then they're they're like, ah, I could be with their daughters. They're going to hold their daughters tight to their chest. Don't want their daughters to drop nothing. Oh, she's too fragile. I can't do this. Their son's one hand playing video games with the next, feeding the son <laughs> with the bottle like this. Like, mm-hmm, you good, kid. You good. But, you know, and then that's because the males are supposed to be tougher. So that's what it's like to touch on what you were saying, Lenny. Yeah. I think that... The males are considered to be the stronger ones, which I don't think is exactly or even should be portrayed that way anymore. But it's still something that's so innate. And I don't know if it's our genetic makeup. I don't know if it's our societal makeup, but it's innate that the men should be tougher and rougher and the females should be like dainty and and soft. Mm -hmm. Well, also, because if you look back to, say, the 60s, that's kind of how they stereotyped it there. Especially because women never really went to war unless they were nurses. But then the men were supposed to be the big, bronze, strong type to go and raise a household. Because if we, we can compare it, 1960s to 2020, you guys, you ladies, they would never hold you to the same accord, accord that they're holding you now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They'd be like, you shouldn't be saying nothing. Mm-hmm. You should be seen, not heard. Your man should talk for you. You should have basically just lap dog it. Mm-hmm. So, and they've always kind of built that kind of idea still. It's not, a, it's some people look down on it because some people still hold the old tradition to it. But a lot of people look like, a lot of women are like, no, I can do it. But then it's also, if they do it and they fail, the man looks down at them like, well, you said you could do it. Mm-hmm. You said you're big and bald, you can do it. Why aren't you doing it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, it and it basically, it does wear down on the psyche. It's the same way if a man's trying to cook a meal for a woman, 
and he probably buns up the pie, <laughs> the woman might come to him and say, oh, you thought you could cook. Oh, what is this? You never were taught? So basically it's like, oh, women, men shouldn't be doing this. Because women say it too. They say men shouldn't be doing yeah, this. Yeah, they're like, oh, I just want to, you just have to like take care of exactly. him. Or I have to be able to do this, 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 this to, to keep him. It's like, but also no. like he is a capable adult, right? Yes. <laughs> Are right. we raising grown babies? Right? Can you wipe your own wanna... ass? <laughs> right? No, but even speaking on that fact, like even the that courting stage, like that prior to dating, like even thinking like, yo, you Back in the day, I was thinking, like, yo, I'm going to have to pay for the movies or the popcorn if you go to the movies. You know what I mean? I'm going to have mm-hmm. to go. I'm going to have to spend the money because, yo, that's that's you know, that's what a man's supposed to be doing. That's that's mm-hmm. what, that's what that's going to get the girl. But mm-hmm. it's a it's a whole different different era now compared to now because, yo, that, that really is not working. <laughs> no, well, okay, I'm, I'm asking. Oh, go Warbucks. Take it away. Oh, quickly run with it and throw it back to you because... That's still kind of viewed, even to this day where people are like, oh, the man should pay. It's such a sticky situation yeah. mm-hmm. because true. you're sitting there, you're looking at each other. I mean, like, yo, you're going to pull up the card? I'm like, what? <laughs> it's first, this is the first date. Who's going to be quick draw? Who's going to go pew and pull it out? If the woman pulls it out, the man on his psyche might be like, oh, yeah, cool. She's got this. Like, yo, I feel good. The woman says, I ain't taking the scrub back out again. He made me pull out my card and pay. Yo, I yeah. should be like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Shout, shout out to the females that pay first. That, yeah, you know, like that don't itch. No, I'm not saying it's a. Yo, I'm not saying that we don't. Pay like, no, 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 no. But, We're saying shadow that you got your own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, you know there's a dis- like I I don't know how it feels specifically on like for the first date the female paying personally. Talk but, the, but the way that I think about it is like whatever I order or whatever I get, I should be able to cover it myself. Of course. Thank right? you. Like I'm not gonna be like, I'll have the steak and the seafood platter and a bottle of your finest red wine if I'm not willing to drop that myself. I'm not gonna put that on somebody else's tab. That's a disrespecting. Yeah. But right. at the same time, you can show a little chivalry. I wouldn't be upset. <laughs> See, a little what? Sharp. Yeah. No, I I think that th- that comes down to again the the stereotype of how a man should be on a first date and then how a woman should be. But even to play on that, like I respect you guys for thanking the women who are ready to pay first. And shout out to all those women. But then I have to ask the next question is, do you feel emasculated when a woman goes and she's like, you know what, I'm going to pull out the card and pay? Because I know some men are like, who does this woman think she is? She think I'm a bum? She think I can't pay? She think I don't got a job? Okay. like So what are your thoughts on that? Because hmm, honestly, I, wanna, I want answers. It depends. Because honestly, if if the convo, if the night's going nice and the vibes is flowing and the convo's going and... Yo, it's a it's a point that the bill comes and she, yo already hands in the purse like going you know what I mean like who, who am I to say yo stop no whoa I'd be like <laughs> on my on, listen on my end I'm thinking alright yo boom on the way home I'm gonna get the ice cream or like I'm gonna go you know what I mean I'm thinking mm-hmm. like uh, different ways to try to not try to it, I don't have to but that's just me everyone's different I I don't know some people wouldn't do that but that's how I would think about it. Like, all right, you paid for this. All right, I'm going to get you on some food. Like, cause I know I, I'm not the type of, well, a lot of girls wouldn't take the money back or and say, yo, I'm going to give you back the money or whatever. But that's like the perfect way I think to do it. You know? Okay. What works? Well, for me, it determines how long she's been on her phone, how many times she's taken picture of I'm the food done. with her phone. Because if you're going to sit there and like, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm sitting there and conversation's not going. Oh, that's cool. So you basically decided to take... I should just took you ass to McDonald's. Oh, why should I take pictures of the McDonald's Warbucks? You can't take pictures of a Happy Meal? No, no, no. I said I should have took you to. The Travis Scott burger just came out. Yeah, you might as well just try that. So she has to pitch in like $4 for every picture of the food that she takes. At least you're advertising on social media. I'm so done. But it's the fact that it's like... I don't mind paying. Like Steven said, if the conversation is good, we're on a vibe, we're laughing, we're talking, things are good. I'm like, you know what? I can see this going to maybe going out again. Then yeah, 
I definitely would pitch it. If, if it's going, if I, well, let's put it, if it's going on a date, then yeah. If it's going out with a friend, then it's kind of like, okay, you know what? We got to yeah. meet middle ground for it. Yeah, if you're going out to friends, like friendship, if you're going to the point where like, hey, I enjoy your company. If she says she wants to pay, I'll be like, you know what? Cool. I will cover the next. See, yeah, that was a broad question still because, yeah, we could have... Mm-hmm. I will. I like. I will. I will. I wanted to hear your thoughts. It's good. But yeah, it's this is this is good conversation. I'm yeah, sure there's people listening who are like, yes, yeah. yes, absolutely, and people that are like, oh my gosh, I could never. You wouldn't catch me dead. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna pay on our first date because a man should be spoiling me and he should be taking care of me? Yeah, Why do I have to take care of myself? That well, you know what? Because it comes to the form of respect. Because oh. you should never be coming with that. No one should be coming with that type of exactly. mentality exactly. of, oh, yeah. I should be, it's me, me, me. Like entitled to it. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing with me, yo. I feel our vibes so heavy. So like, mm-hmm. if, if if that's what it is, like, yo, check's coming out. Two, two, two bills, please. <laughs> oh. Like, yeah, two oh, separate bills. Just, are said, you separate? Hell yes, we separate. He he said, but um, it's, my spirit doesn't feel good. It's going to yeah. be two bills. Right? <laughs> yeah, so you know what? I, I've had those experiences, so I'm not even going to lie. Like, yo, people come in like, yo, it's like, all right, boom, like, not even breaking purse out of the car. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh yeah, you're walking, you're walking freehanded, whoa, walking whoa. behind back for that purse. <laughs> what's, 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 okay, what's but for on? for some of those girls like myself, you can low key tap your phone now. So I be playing you guys like no, nah, but I'm I don't okay. want you, But I don't want your phone. I don't want your phone at dinner because that means you're talking to Susan and Karen. No cares, Susan and Linda and talking about date. This is me and you. What if it's just this, on the table, face down? The temptation's still there. Not Put on it the away. table. But what, the if table. It's, what if it's on the table hmm. face down and they're just focused on you? Even though the temptation's there, they're so focused. focused. Look, that should oh, be look, such look, a good song. But look, remember, remember what we spoke about last week? Yeah. Remember what we spoke mm-hmm. about last week? The distraction of it. If you have to have it there and you're not spending the time, like, in a sense, as a man, I demand respect. And okay. I demand attention. But <laughs> so do you. Because if I'm going to be there Talking with my boys, watching the sport, the, the the score on the game, and not talking to you, I'm not cheating your respect. And it'd be mm-hmm. a different story because you will hear it. Be, yeah. What are you doing? Oh. Who are you talking to? What you oh, 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 oh! You're so up in your phone. You're up in your phone. You're supposed to be talking to me. Yeah. But see, that's basically it. Goes the same way with her, where it's basically the gender roles. If I'm sitting there telling you about my day, talking about it, and you're like, mm-hmm, all right. oh, oh, yes, Polly has this on sale. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fashion Nova had these tights? Oh, hey, hey, leave oh. Fashion Nova out of it. I'm going for people. This is my, I'm on my soapbox. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I'm on my soapbox. It is what it is. But even though I'm on my soapbox, we are going to have to take a little break. Um, we'll be right back. Hey, are you having a special event and want to add a sweet touch? Look no further. Sugar and Pops Desserts has you covered. We make desserts for any occasion or holiday and promise to bring all your ideas and designs to life through our desserts. Anything from decorated sugar cookies, cake pops, and more. Sugar and Pops Desserts are available in tons of great flavors and we also have vegan options. Sugar and Pops Desserts is a small black owned business located in Durham region. You can contact us via email at sugarandpops at gmail.com or you can direct message us on our Instagram page. You can find us on Instagram under the name Sugar and Pops and that's S-U-G-A-N-P-O-P-S. So make sure to hit up Sugar and Pops so you don't miss out on the amazing desserts that you could have at your next special event. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Thank you for joining us once again. Thank you very much for our sponsors for blessing us and spreading the good word. So I'm still on my so- my soapbox, but I'm going to come off. And Shenny, here's my soapbox. You look like you want to say something. Oh, I get, I get a Warbox soapbox? Okay. You get a Warbox soapbox. It's I got to make it good. So it's okay. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's, it's just tied. No feels oh. tied. But it oh. works. <laughs> Okay, so I guess uh, for this little segment, I just want to let our listeners know that this is going to be a a non PG thirteen kind of thing. Like it's no little kid stuff. We're gonna get suggestive, but not explicit. Just everyone, just so you're aware. Everyone, cocky ears. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. 
Hot I'm everybody. Done. <laughs> I'm done. You see the co-host I have? Can you let me get to my point? Shoot. No. No. Okay. So as we know, we're talking about gender roles and double standards. So I'm going to lead into a double standard a little bit. So I want to know, like Joe, I want to know. Anyways. Girl, you're interrupting yourself. I know. Yes. Next time. That's my Don't job. Don't come for us next time. That's my job. I'm letting you tell your story. Go. <laughs> okay. I want to know, why is it that women cannot openly talk about just wanting sex from a man? We cannot just sit there around, even with guys present, and be like, you know what? I want to sleep with him. I'm going to hit him up, and I'm just going to have sex with him. And have no like no attachments, no nothing, no commitments. I just want to sleep with him and done. Why when we say that, we're labeled as hoes. We have no self-respect. Our self-worth is diminished. We're around guys be like, oh, I wouldn't want her. You'd hit it, but then you wouldn't want to be with me. Interesting. But if I join your group chats or your little moments where you are broing out and you're like, yo, I hit that. Yo, I want to smash this girl. Yo, I'm just going to hit her up and I'm just going to give her a call and just let her know I want to, you know. There, there's nothing wrong with that. It's like, bro, make sure you get it in. How come that's allowed? But our version is diminished. Please, for the double standards, men. This is a big bottle of water I'm drinking. I was about to say, these men have been chugging and sipping their drinks the whole time. I feel like Mark Zuckerberg right now on trial. I just want to know. I feel like Mark Zuckerberg. No, we're about to get to start that one. Mm. Me? Oh, 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 oh. You're going to let me start after Steven, a Shetty thing? Steven, you haven't talked in a little while still. No, we're Steven. We're about to on his soapbox just now. I'm kidding. You're gonna, you're, I'm no, kidding. No, 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 let me, let me first, let me first. Okay. Sh- 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 Shetty's like my polar opposite, so it's okay. I can do this one. So, hmm. <clears throat> Put on my reading glasses. Okay. So, because if men say it, Men are conquerors. Men feel like at that point, if they're talking about it, it's conquering another hill. Don't get me wrong. Y'all women got your your group chats, your Snapchats where it dissolves after reading it. And y'all talk about it. But it's the fact that if a man is going around and slaying dragons, mm-hmm. he's to look like a hero. Mm-hmm. If a woman's going around slaying dragons, it's possibly some other dragon's knight that slayed her. Mm, you're gonna, you're gonna have to. I got oh. the, uh, the analogy mixed up. Another dragon's knight. That oh, okay. So you're saying <gasps> bing, 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 the bing, knight bing. belongs to someone else. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. You have to throw it that way. It's it's always been a conquest thing because it's always as I'm always gonna go back in the past and I'm always gonna pull reference of it. A man conquering something is like a man conquering a business. When you close the big business deal, you feel like the you feel like the dawn. You feel like someone that feels good. So if you're pursuing a woman and you know it's at 2 a.m. in the morning, you up text. If she responds, you look like you conquer. If she sends you the 2 a.m. are you up text, he still feels like he conquered. Because it's the fact that he didn't have to do nothing. The food Uber delivered to him. He didn't have to Uber. Okay, but I feel like he feels like he conquered in private, but not publicly. And that's what I'm saying. Like, publicly wise, if women were to talk about this, again, we're diminished. But privately, it's okay. You guys are happy with it privately because you end up getting your nut at the end of the day. Yes, we do. But it's the fact that some things are belong behind closed doors. If people have to check their business, then they don't just, they shouldn't just be deserving in the first place. That's exactly where I was going with it. I think it this. The- it really depends on the maturity level. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, yo, back in the day, like Shani was saying, you're saying, yo, oh my God, yo, this girl's talking to him. And then they broke up. He's talking that, yo, she's a, she's a whore. Like she's, yo, who, like what the hell? Like, I'm not going to talk to that. I wouldn't, you know what I mean? But now, like, as you grow up, like, as you go through things, you're like, okay, yo, she, she's talking to you like that. Yo, she wants, yo, yo, come here. Let me get you. Like, yo, yeah. let's go out. Or like, she's approaching, yo, let's go out on a date. Yo, I'm thinking on a different of like yo, the courage that took her to come to me like and say that you know what I mean like that cause yo I had to take her to do that at one point so I'm thinking the, the repeat on a, and, and as we're talking about general and I was a female like people are saying yo female should never be approaching a man like that mm-hmm. yeah. there should always be a man approaching a female but when, the, when it's reversed it's 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 
it's refreshing. It's it's I don't know. It's it's it's, it's nice. I'm I can't deny that at all. But like I said, it's really dependent on our maturity level. As you grow up, I, I don't really use that slang anymore. Yeah, because we're grown. But some men feel that if a woman's gonna ask him out, he can't really. It feels like an attack on his masculinity. Thank you. That's what Thank I wanted you. to hear for the win. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. It's a feeling because it's gonna be like, yo, she asked you out, blase, blase. It's an attack on your masculinity because you feel like you should be the one approaching her asking it, but now she's switching it around. But then you have to be like, okay, but who else is slapping this? Who else is out there going in there? How many, hi, how you doings is in her DM and is she just picking through? Because it has to be inter- it has to be an interaction between the two of each other. So it has to be like, hey, like if I approach her, she might brush me off, but two two, she might come back around and say, you know what, let me just let me just see what this is like. I seen I seen Laquisha when you know one two with it. So what makes me think it's not? Let's put it this way in general. Men have barbershop, women have hair salons. Everyone Facts. all talks their secrets there. Factual. Yeah, when men at the barbershop will talk about the girl they saw down the way, like, yo, I greased that. Women at the booty shop is like, yeah, he came and he was acting like he's all big and everything. And I didn't business. Two, two's in her head. She's like, yeah, three in the morning. I have to make sure I get him out because he stayed till six. My kids will see him when they come out. And I don't want to drink my juice boxes. <sighs> or the fruit yo. snacks. <laughs> my fruit snacks and my juice boxes, so I yo, can't have that. The way how you had three different interactions. Warbuck? Literally, you have you need a show on your own. You don't need us. Man is a one <gasps> man play. I'm gonna get a spin off, play. everybody. Yeah. Wow, oh you're gonna get one of those spin off sitcoms where we all still have to come back as guest appearances, and yeah, they do the little like audience recording, like <laughs> yeah, woo, every time you make an appearance. No, nah, man, it'll be like it'll be like COVID and the Oscars. You just basically, I'm just there in the crowd. I can't deal. So okay, Lenise, what's your thought on it, though? I had so many things I wanted to say, and I forgot some of them. Rewind like, them in your brain. Sh- I need to hear this. Went to his foolishness. Um, <laughs> one thing I wanted to say is there's definitely this idea where, like, if a woman acts the same way that a man acts or they do the same thing on one side, for the guy, it's like a badge of honor. And for mm-hmm. the female, it's like damaged goods for the exact same actions mm. that's the huge double standard okay okay the and you know second, why yeah go, go. so i'm sorry you have to jump in but mm. it's also an emotional thing because sometimes men will act like they don't have any emotions to it mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hit men it are so it. emotional and i'm mm. saying this to yes, all men yes they are yes of course they're emotional please course. i cry when i watch shawshank redemption i ain't lying to you about that <laughs> but it's the fact that some will they will basically men will be like oh cool they might go back because they know it's easy convenience, but sometimes women, since they are nurturing and they feel an attachment, the slightest little hiccup of not answering your text message or not answering your call is literally going to have them showing up your house looking like an angry Kirby. <laughs> but that's the thing. Some guys are like that too. Thank you, Lenise. When, so when you were saying this earlier, Warbucks, about like, oh, when you're approaching someone and you have to think like, oh, who else is talking to them? who else has been with them, blah, blah, blah. Females absolutely have to ask the same questions, even of like when a person is like coming to them and like approaching them, you still have to be in the back of your mind like, oh, well, how many other people are they saying this to? Like Mm -hmm. how many other DMs Mm -hmm. did they slide in on the same day? And Mm -hmm. like, uh, unless you have like explicitly said like that you are exclusive, I think a lot of people just assume that you're still so in wild oats or in a whole bunch of different conversations talking to a bunch of people at once. Yeah. And that's just the nature of how relationships happen these days for, you know, a majority of people. Social yeah. media is dangerous. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's my thought on these gender roles because, I mean, a girl sleeps with, like, 40 guys and she's, as you said, damaged good. She's, a, like, she's a slut, dare I say, a whore, everything like that. Even, like, when guys talk about sleeping with girls, you use the words, like, conquering and slap and grease. These are all kind of negative connotations that get placed on a woman 
when a woman's out there doing it, but a guy sleeps with like 40 girls and it's like, bro, you did that thing. Here's your crown. No, which one was the best? Da, 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 you mm-hmm. know? And then that's where, that's where I see a double standard. And I always like having this conversation with mature men. That's the drop mic. Mature men who can actually have this conversation and articulate their thought processes behind it because I just think it's interesting and I'm not really here for that double standard, but I just like to see how it came to be. That's true. Again. I like, go, go work. Oh, I keep cleaning your phone, so sorry. It's okay. That was the same time. Go ahead. <laughs> Literally, uh, just to paint pictures for everybody, think of it like basketball. Every time a man scores a basket, it's like, yeah, he's putting up baskets, putting up points because they're viewing it as, like you said, yeah, you grease, yeah, you slapped, you did good because it's making you feel like you're the big man in town. Women can do it too discreetly, but it's just like, if you come out and if you have more than two bodies, they're going to think you're just a lost puppy trying to find something. And it's it's bad. You shouldn't have a double Thank standard you. on it. It shouldn't Every, happen. Yes. There should be no double standard on it. Of course but, not. But if you're there airing your pie out the windowsill, you shouldn't be proud about it. But men, men do it all the time. Yes. They, they, again, it, it falls into it men mean to to air a pie on a windowsill. I was about to say, not about the same. It. Don't. I know I can think about it in a, a lot of different directions, but <laughs> yes, still. I know, but this is PG thirteen, so I can't go there. Well, yeah, yes. you lose your imagination. <laughs> All that to say, listen, I choose like my own morals and my own actions, and that not might not be how I choose to live my own life, but I do still think that it's detrimental for there to be this like obvious double standard where Mm -hmm. people just yeah two people doing the exact same thing are looked at completely differently in terms of their value i think that's definitely the problem you know where the bigger thing is Mm. where we see double standards where it's really where it hits hits Mm. tell me workplace oh because where do we start because my my manager is a female And I know sometimes when some guys talk to her, they talk like she doesn't have any sense. She has a bag of sense in her head. But they just talk because they think a man will talk to her because you think, oh, I'm, again, dominating. I'm conquering. I know what's right. You don't know. Mm -hmm. But also, the double standards, too, where it comes to me, women will ask me questions about, like, different, like, plans, different, like, different features. And... I will be like, well, no, it's this. And they'll come, no, it's not. You don't know what you're talking about. But I'm like, but you're asking me the question. I'm not <laughs> telling you. I, I'm not forcing it. I'm saying this is suggestive of it. So yeah. it's women will look at men roles sometimes in a workplace and feel like the man's demeaning them when sometimes they won't. And women will feel demeaned at the workplace because the man will feel like you can't do the job because I'm a man. I see what goes. Yeah, even on a pay pay schedule too, because like I'm thinking about it on a sports level. Because just now, like, well, obviously before COVID, uh, women's I think it was national team or something like that. Um, they 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 went on strike because they were they're obviously asking for equal pay as well. Mm-hmm. But um, mm-hmm. it is it's crazy how they break it down because they really break it down on viewership of the sport. Yes. To really how yeah. how the women and the men get paid because at the end of the day if you look at M- and like the nba i'm not sure the stats someone could pull it up real quick the stats yeah. nba and WNBA, uh, like it's such a difference like a lot, a lot i know a lot, a lot of people watch WNBA at all i don't but a lot Ooh. more people watch <laughs> more people do watch <laughs> nba so that's why their contracts are more ex- crazy with the the tv promotions and the the sponsorship that nba gets so you know, that's on a sports level, it's actually crazy to see because they, they do get underpaid because there's a lot of good soccer players that I see that I'm thinking like, damn, like, that's that's how the the, 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 the business is working. It's, it's actually crazy. So you touched on it being on viewership. But do you think if like the NBA players were to all be like to everybody, go watch the WNBA just to watch the women? Because I, I watched... Um, it was a reel or something on Instagram and mm-hmm. I don't know who it is. So I don't know the WNBA players. I do apologize in advance, but there was a WNBA player and she was schooling the crap out of a NBA player. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, you better, you better do your thing. You better girl. Work. Right. Yeah. What, what crossing twice. 
And I was <laughs> supporting that. But then I think I thought about that and I'm like, I'm literally just as bad because I don't know any WNBA teams. Mm. I don't know anything mm. when it comes to, uh, well, the WNBA, so yeah. to speak. But I know every NBA team, I know all players. And then that's another thing too, being a female and knowing about basketball and like sports. It's like, do you really know? And I'm sitting there like, please don't test me right now. Like, <laughs> I will drop knowledge. Abby Wambach, like, come on, Ali. come on, man. Lisa Leslie. Let's, yeah. Okay, on, wait, this, 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 that's the thing. You can only name the big names. Like, can you? How many WNBA teams can you name right now? And you see, the and, silence proves the double standard point. LA Sparks. Here, yeah, here, that's what I was thinking. Here's what it is, and and not to sound. Yeah, not to sound rough or anything, but I it's more on a I feel like now on an entertainment level because now you're seeing like NBA now you're seeing dunks, you're seeing like behind the like mm. alley oops, you're seeing like you know flashy stuff more than you would see in the NBA because not a lot of girls are, are dunking there. It's more like jumpers, layups, or and people would say quote unquote. I'm not a baller, I'm not an NBA player, but people would say quote unquote that's boring. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So that's that's kind of why I feel like that's. Why the viewership and the, the the revenues like that? Let me it's- let me let me bring something in for you, okay? So drop it. This uh this year, obviously the LA Lakers won the NBA cha- the NBA championships. Uh, the Seattle Storm, which is a WNBA team, um, they also won their championships this year, okay? So with that, Sue Bird, who plays on the um Seattle team, and mm-hmm. obviously LeBron James, who plays with the Lakers currently. They both claimed their fourth championship trophy in their 17th season. All right. So you could say they're on equal level in terms of their own leagues. Here's a quick comparison between them. Okay. So they both played 17 seasons. They both have four championships. Their bonus for winning the finals. I'm not going to even say their overall salary yet. The bonus for winning the finals for Sue Bird was eleven thousand three hundred and fifty six dollars. Eleven million. Eleven thousand. The bonus that Le- LeBron James got for winning was three hundred and seventy thousand. Okay, her overall salary for the entire year was two hundred and fifteen thousand, less than his bonus for one day of work. Or I guess you could call it the few games that it took to win the championship. Yeah. Mm. And his overall salary was thirty seven point four four million. Oh my god! So d- does her salary at least touch eleven million? Her salary is the two hundred and fifteen thousand. No, less than no, his bonus. no, no. Less than his bonus for no. winning the championship. And she she's a baller. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen she her is play. a baller, and yeah. in terms of like in the bubble and during COVID. Yeah. Viewership for the WNBA was actually oh, for sure. trending up, whereas the 100%. NBA's viewership, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe theirs was actually trending down compared to yeah, the it was. It, yeah, was. it was. It was trending yeah. down. It was. Because mm-hmm. everyone knew it was like, oh, LeBron's winning it, so why yeah, are we even really watching it? a Lakers it? thing. Yeah. 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 But like, think about what you just said. Think about what you, in the in the sports world, that is such a diminishing factor to be a woman and to know that that's all you'd make. You, you're less than a man's bonus. And your whole year of playing, or you know what I mean when I say the year, Mm -hmm. uh, your duration of playing is less than, and we could sit here and be like, oh, well, that's because it's not boring. That's that's because it's boring. That's because it's this. Essentially, it's because they're women. Mm -hmm. Let's just say it as it is. Where where are the sponsorships? Where are the investments? It's in the men's league. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, exactly. Because they make it look like it's a man's world. Mm-hmm. It's true. It is true. But it wouldn't be nothing without a woman or a girl. Oh, but, Thank huh. you, James cool. Brown. Uh, but you know what? It and it's sad to say if Gigi made it, Gigi Bryan made it to the WNBA. Rest in peace, baby girl. Mm-hmm. She would have been the difference that would have been that would have shook it up. Thanks. Because being the daughter of Kobe Bryant and playing like him, yeah. when she would have made the league, everyone would have looked. Everyone would have. Like the WNBA would have skyrocketed. Everyone would want to watch what she would do. And then you would probably see the rest of these players take their kids and put them in there. So she would have probably been the change that would have changed the narrative of it. Because there's even Crazy. amazing women, there's even amazing women soccer players. Steven, yeah. you would know that. And no, trust me, bro. I've yeah. never heard a day in a life of them, but I'm hearing about Ronaldo. I'm hearing about yeah. Beckham. I'm like, 
It's because mm-hmm. right now they're like they're actually trying to offer. I think it's they're all like mid trying to get pay and stuff. So it's like it's actually crazy that the whole the whole sports world is is so different and it's the same sport. You know what I mean? But obviously, like we're talking about, it's because what they're, they're women, right? So mm-hmm. same same abilities, same skills. Mm-hmm. You know, just not being able to dunk, I guess, or alley oop or do a windmill or they can but, still do the same thing. Sorry, in regards to double standards in general, how do you guys think or do you guys think, first of all, has there been a change in progression in changing the double standards and gender roles within males and females within the last few years? No, no. Social media is a killer for that. Social media just and it's also the fact that like couples of same sex, like how do you kind of differ who's like like who's more in control because if it's a man to a man or a woman to a woman mm-hmm. like how like do you double do you how do you double standard that because like Steve says social media is the great yeah. divider yeah. Instagram's Moses and people are the Red Sea like <laughs> wow another cheese wow we are getting <laughs> so divided that this is coming in and just spread to see there but it's it's funny you touched on same-sex relationships Mm -hmm. and um not to offend or be disrespectful to anybody in the lgbtq community Mm -hmm. at all i find that there's still in same-sex relationships there's still somebody that plays a more dominant as in that so to speak we would call it a male role and Mm -hmm. then there's this more submissive yes and then that'd be the feminine role and that's still within same-sex literally same-sex relationships whether it's male or male or female or female um so in that situation it's very broad even then to say that there has been change i think the difference is that we're now uh accepting and identifying when there is a double standard and when there is somebody who's playing a different gender role we're not like mm-hmm. mm, okay mm-hmm. you know you're busting about you're doing a double standard right now you know that and mm-hmm. now it's more talked about and more vocalized in conversation versus hit under the rug like Mm-mm, this is what a man's supposed to do this is what a woman's supposed to do we gonna leave it like that it's like no homie i took you out okay i took <laughs> you yeah. out Facts. okay yeah i mean like in in those situations sometimes it's just a matter of personality like it's not even necessarily a um a double standard which you were alluding to shiny it's more of just like you're playing different roles and that's what Mm -hmm. this person is comfortable with that's what role the other person is comfortable with and as long as it works and it gels for you as a pair then it's good but yes when it becomes a double standard then it's like wait a second do you realize what's happening here or can we compromise can we sort that out what were you gonna say steven i said i only said social media really really because now, like, honestly, it really depends if, if you're trying to look for someone to say, okay, I'm going to settle down with and stuff like that. Because now you're seeing on social media what like celebrities are doing and celebs, people are trying to be like celebs or want to live their life, trying to live their life like celebs. So mm-hmm. for you to try to gain someone, they're probably looking at your Instagram accounts. Oh, boom. You have what? You do that? Okay, I'm not going to. Just because you know how you look on social media or not how you are you know you've never met the person so like social media is going to be the killer in the long run because nowadays what's a what's a personal interaction now when was the last time a lot of people have had interaction that they could say oh i've met someone new you know what i mean especially mm-hmm. during these times so yeah it's, it's all on it's all on the internet it also kind of ties to likes like you said because basically to flip around if a guy gets a lot of likes the girl might feel a way about it. Mm. And if the girl gets a lot of likes, the guy might say, like, when you basically flip it, girl getting a lot of likes, the guy might be like, oh, well, who's this guy? Who is this you're talking to? Who's that? A guy can get a lot of likes, might get a heart under the in the comments, and the girl might be like, well, who's dropping these hearts? So the double standard is like, who are you entertaining? Like, oh. are you, like who are you entertaining in this one? Because if I could do it, you should be able to do it. But if I do it, you're going to get offended. If you do it, I might get offended. Mm. And where are we, are we meeting equal ground? So social media is going to be the way it's like, oh, well, 
I can have my profile. You can't really have it. Whatever you post, you can't post. See, there, another thing. What I can post, you can't post. So if oh, I want like to be... Skin- to split up the content if they took the pictures together, you mean? No. Like, if I want to skin out, you're not allowed to skin out. Oh, thirst oh, traps. Wow. Yeah, if oh, I okay. skin out, you okay, can't skin wait. out. That's if- not... That's not fair. No, wait. it's not fair. But it's a I'm double standard. <laughs> it's, it's a double standard. If I'm want- so annoyed. If you want... <laughs> Shani, it's like, if you want to go and wear a tight dress, you're not allowed. But if I want to go and flex or wear my Louis V belt... I shouldn't because it's going to attract the wrong people. So you can post yourself in the gym all sweaty, abs all out, body on fleek, and I go, I put on a dress, a little tight, or, you know, I put on some nice tight jeans, a little heel them, and pose, and you're being too seductive. You're you're trying to allure men. You're trying to, no, you're wrong. See, does that not cause a divide? That causes a very big social divide because Mm -hmm. it's like basically dog and puss not have the same look. But that's not right. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for me. I'm going up there doing this for me. I'm not doing it for my man. I'm not doing it for the person or anybody else. Like, I'm doing it for myself. But why do you have to do it for yourself? Why do you need to put it out there? Why is it I have to come find it on my page and see it? (laughs) Why is it that? (laughs) Why do men get insecure when women that they're with post it up of their stuff? You already have me. You think I'm going somewhere just because I post that? Because it, it comes back to the True. double standard. It comes yeah. back to the man feels like he needs to conquer. So then the does it essentially our double standards in general is based off of insecurities on the perception of how we're supposed <laughs> to actually live in society then? Yeah. Ding, ding, Good question. Ding. Yeah. 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 We yeah. have 100%. a winner. Yeah, that that that's exactly True. how that it is. is exactly. Because because <sighs> what you're supposed, what you do behind closed doors, you shouldn't. What you do for Peter, you shouldn't do for Paul. So what? it's the fact that if my boy's following you and liking your stuff, I'm not going to go to my boy and be like, yo, why are you doing this? Why is Paul liking your stuff? Yeah. The same way you're going to go and say, yo, why is Samantha like, why did Samantha say, oh, this looks I cute. I should put the heart eyes. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. The, and, yo. and you're going to have to sit here and you have to err, uh, err, uh, make sure she didn't see it and it gets screenshot. And then the double standard argument begins of like, okay, so. Why people can't comment on my stuff? Yo, I'm a photographer. Why are why, why are you mad at people commenting? I don't know. I the really, moral of the story yeah. is: be with people who are secure in their own identity and don't exactly. have to depend on you to make them feel like they're valuable. Like Preach. That. Sense of self. Yeah. Sense of on. self, which is hard to come across because social media is our self. Maybe we should talk about this one day, sense of self, because I just feel like we we just went so many different levels on this topic because Wait. gender roles can go so deep and then yeah. double standards can go so deep because it poses your thought process and changing and then my thought process changing. And then it's yeah. it can be argumentative. Thankfully, mm-hmm. we're not argumentative. We all say our piece and we understand where we're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that it's been put in the world to have social divide. Like I stand by that. Yeah, of course. 100%. It's like built from the jump. Mm -hmm. It's It's good to disagree, but to a certain extent. Like, you have to have people that have two different thought patterns to each other, but not to the point where I say I'm right because I am the man. And you can't say you're right because you're the woman. So your opinion should (laughs) not... (laughs) Woman. (laughs) Yeah, your opinion should not matter because... But we'll go back biblical. Who came first, Adam or Eve? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, so, man. so it's, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying it's right. I'm literally just stating facts like I always do. Oh, 100%. It's, it goes back to Adam and Eve. Maybe it was God's fault. I'm not blaming him because I don't want to be struck down by lightning. But, <laughs> but it's the fact that since Adam, came, uh, Eve was made from Adam's rib. Adam was always supposed to be the forefront and Adam was always supposed to lead from Adam to Noah to Abraham. Okay, I'm going to put a T for time on the pause that you said Even that. animals. My bad, yeah. That's true. That. Animals too, yes. I, yeah. I, I agree. But um, animals were made in twos, male and female at the same time, just saying. Mm. Um, oh, of course. But- so what you were saying though, women came from the rib. They did not come from the, the bottom. 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 They did not come from the feet. Okay. They did not come from the head. They came from the rib, which means side, which means equality. Mm-hmm. One cannot function without the other. God, so to speak, brought Eve into the world because Adam couldn't function without Eve and Eve can't function without Adam. So that's why I'm saying the whole roles aspect 
needs to be reviewed. Of course yeah. it's I'm, I'm, I'm hopping that. in on that. I'm hopping in on that one, Warbucks, because also, if we want to look at the, you know, people talk about the curse where they're like, oh, you, Eve, are going to be subjected to your man and blah, blah, blah. Sorry, not blah, blah, blah. That's what it says. Mm-hmm. But that's an effect of the curse. So if we're looking at scripture redemptively, as in like God is trying to make things better throughout time, mm-hmm. why would we want to stick to a standard that's as the result of the curse instead of trying to bring it back make to it. the original design, mm-hmm. which was the first purpose? Which oh, is what purpose. Was saying too. oh, of I like course. This. Of I course like it was. And it, no, it goes exactly to that. But it's just how they basically, from Genesis 1, when it basically said that a woman just cling to the man. So it's been, it's written in scripture. It's, it's Bible school, hey. mom, so, so Monday prayer meeting with moms. It's just, it says <laughs> basically that this and the man's supposed to cling to it. It's not viewed now because we've come to the level of equality, but it's just, it's, it's that kind of context where you have to go, so why would they say that? Yeah. And where would and that I go And I think from? that there's also other religious beliefs um, that, women are the gods actually in some yeah. of them and the women should be worshipped so it does also depend on what I guess uh, biblical or not not biblical religious standpoint you're at as well because that's why some people yeah. feel that hey women are th- we run the world like that's why some people feel that you know but yeah that's good you brought that up still because that it, it it is definitely viewed in Differently in different religions, mm-hmm. you know, this whole gender role, double standard thing. Mm-hmm. Is, Absolutely. So yeah, that, that is big to say. So I'm to take it. This is the food for thought for today. Yeah. How do we now go about this? And we should maybe even ask our viewers to drop in the comments, like, how do we go about changing gender roles and the inequalities? Yeah. And how do we, uh, how do we re- rewrite double standards? Come on, guys. Make it even playing field, like. What can I do that you can't do? Like, it should be even there. I can take a picture, and I know a ton of female photographers that are just as good as it. They basically say it's a man's industry, but I know some disgusting female photographers that could put some men to shame. Big facts. Mm-hmm. But it's the true. fact that the media makes it seem like they have no idea what they're doing. So okay. that's, a dangerous, that's a dangerous thing, which I would hope I see a change of that come to be because women should get the same women... They don't always have to be in front of the camera. They can be behind it. They oh, can be for behind me, it. Oh, for me, it'd be, a, it'd be heavy on the change in the sports because I watch sports heavy and it could be nice to see more like women's soccer game on TV because I follow Chelsea and I also follow Chelsea ladies on Instagram. So like, you know, it'd be nice to see that those games too and stuff. So nah, Lenise, there's, some sick, there's some sick soccer players. This isn't something that I brought up before, but it just came to mind what I'd like to see. I think the wildest double standard in terms of workplaces or industries for me is food culinary Mm -hmm. why is it that all the like top chefs and the leader in all this stuff and the people who get to choose what's good and what isn't is males and they are Mm -hmm. running all these restaurants but then everyone's like oh a woman's place is in the kitchen and if you can't cook you're basically nothing right but then when you try to make it your business you're like oh no um uh, Chef Bob doesn't think you're good enough at souffleing, so I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to go bear six more kids, <laughs> right? Y'all are cooking. Like you know what? Drop Mike. We're done. Drop Mike, Lenise. <laughs> I think this is just a hot topic. I would just like to see people really just go out there and if they see a double standard and they feel like it should be corrected, just correct it in the moment. Don't make it a problem. Just correct it. Correct. Like unlearn what we've already learned is right to what is socially acceptable now. How about we do that? Yeah, let's be the change. Let's start, you know, start the change, man. Mm-hmm. I love you guys. This is episode 13 mm. of the Perspicax, man. And we're out. Peace out. Gang, gang. <laughs> This is Jason Warbucks. This is Lance. This is Shiny. This is your boy Steven, and you're now tuned into the, the Crystal Cast. Cast.